the aura surrounding a 36 year old Matt Carpenter during the summer of 2022 was extremely palpable at the time. He was having an offensive explosion for the ages as he hit better than some of the game's biggest stars over a period of two months. No one would ever expect him to be in the same breath of hitters like Aaron Judge, Jordan Alvarez, and Shohei Otani, just to name a few, myself included. So how did this crazy run come to be? Seemingly out of nowhere. Before I get into the video, I would really appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe, as it helps out my channel a ton. Thank you. Matt Carpenter started his career in St. Louis with the Cardinals in 2011. He got in his first real game action the next year in 2012 and had a great series versus the Giants in the NLCS, a series that the Cardinals ultimately lost, but the country was officially put on notice to Carpenter's ability as both a hitter and utility defender, showing he could play just about every position on the diamond at close to an average level. He played five positions that year. In 2013, he led baseball in runs, hits, and doubles. For the majority of the 2010s with the Cardinals, Matt Carpenter was very consistent. His discipline at the plate and power to the pull side played very well in an era where the balls were more than likely to be juiced in some way, meaning that the ball carried a lot easier and went farther, leading to increased home run rates in the second half of the 2010s. Carpenter had his best season in 2018, when he crushed 36 home runs and slugged well over 500. After this incredible season, the Cardinals extended him on a two-year, $39 million deal. But as you might have guessed, he did not play up to his salary in the following years. In 2019, he saw a steep decline which is answered by an increase in ground ball rate and a decrease in hard hit percentage. In 2018, his hard hit percentage was 85th percentile in baseball and in 2019, it fell all the way down to 16th. He fell off in just about every stack cast batted ball stat you can think of. His quality of contact had completely vanished and counting stats like home runs and doubles reflected that. 2020 was even worse according to his baseline stats. In the final year of the extension in 2021, Carpenter put up atrocious stats at face value, but when you take a glance at his underlying stats, it becomes clear that he was actually one of the unluckiest hitters in all of baseball. His average launch angle and exit velo were comparable to his prime years in the 2010s, and yet he kept hitting the ball hard into outs. His real slugging percentage of 275 is an entire 150 points lower than his expected value of 425. That could be the difference between someone who is an average player in the MLB and someone who belongs in AA. Despite this, the Cardinals let Carpenter go after that season, and now 36 years old and clearly on the decline, it was going to be an uphill battle for him to even make an MLB roster for the 2022 season. So he signed a minors deal with the Texas Rangers ahead of the season, but left in May after requesting his release. From there, the Yankees swooped in and signed him to their active roster on May 26th ahead of their series in Tampa Bay with the at the time 26 and 17 Rays. Over his first seven games with the Yankees, Carpenter was slugging a monstrous 895 along with four home runs. He nearly had more home runs than he did strikeouts. This was just an anomaly at this point. There's no way he could possibly keep up the success for longer than a couple of series. Even right now, the start of the 2024 season, I could think of an endless amount of players who will undoubtedly slow down and maybe even have poor seasons overall. And this is what everyone, including myself, thought would happen to Matt Carpenter. But it didn't. The run kept on going and going and going. June 12th against the Chicago Cubs in Yankee Stadium is the day that everyone who paid attention to baseball started paying attention to what Matt Carpenter was doing in New York. In that game, he clobbered two home runs to right field and even added a double and a walk for good measure. He also drove in seven of the 18 runs the Yankees scored that day in the win. His hot start wasn't cooling off in the slightest. In fact, it was getting even more hot. His slugging percentage of 1.125 is just one of the many jaw-dropping numbers about Carpenter's stat line to start the season. His 6 home runs and 30 plate appearances is also noteworthy. This equals out to about a home run rate of 20%, which is a billion times better than any player hit last season, given it's only a 10 game sample size, but the point still stands in some capacity. He seemed to have finally cooled off a bit in late June until he came right back on July 2nd with two home runs against the Guardians and a 13-4 win. In July, he managed to hit nine home runs, all of them pulled to right field. To go with that, he drove in 23 runs in just 23 games. That means if he played a full season, he would have 162 RBIs, which hasn't been accomplished since 1936, when the game of baseball was played by plumbers and electricians rather than real baseball players. His August never really got a chance to start as he got hurt on the third and never returned in the regular season. 
it was an underwhelming end to one of the most entrancing Lin Sanity runs ever played in sports. In 2021, Carpenter got very unlucky. In 2022, the exact opposite happened, and Carpenter was arguably the luckiest hitter in baseball. His average exit velocity and launch angle stats were pretty similar between the two years, but the results were worlds apart. Part of that is luck, but he deserves some good luck after his extremely bad luck in 2021. I'm not saying that this season was all based on luck and the run is fake, just saying that sometimes luck is involved during various crazy Linsanity runs such as this. In 2021, his standard stats said he hit like Marvin Gonzalez, and in 2022, his standard stats says he hit like Barry Bonds. Between the two years, there's not really any massive change in his batted ball profile. This run just proves that any hitter is really just one season away of good luck from becoming a household name. That's it, and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you.